I visited a few places in northern Italy for a few days, including attending an important family event. But while we were there, my knowledge on this side of Italy expanded. I learned a lot about the history of Florence and the life of the Medici family, whose influence turned Florence into one of the most beautiful cities in the world. In this episode, you'll see a few clips and pics of our trip, more about the Medicis, and a Bible reflection that we can get from the lives that they lived, especially regarding how we can get salvation. If you're up for that, then stay tuned! Buongiorno, friends and family. I'm Hannah of Hope and Future, and this channel encourages this generation to take in the word and live it out in today's culture. If that's what you're looking for, consider subscribing. My hubby and I primarily stayed in the Milan and Florence area with our family, and we experienced the cities together. So while we were mesmerized by our surroundings, it's very important to have some knowledge on history and I'll focus on Florence for this video, the capital of Tuscany. It's impossible to go to Florence and not learn about the Medici family. During the 13th century, they became a dynasty of bankers turned into royals. Giovanni de Bici was the founder of the Medici Bank who lent money to kings and popes. In 1434, which was the rise in power of Cosimo de' Medici, the family's patronage of the arts and the humanities turned Florence into the birthplace of the Renaissance. They were the first great modern art collectors. Cosimo supported artists like Lorenzo Ghiberti, Filippo Brunelleschi, and Donatello. Later on, there was Lorenzo de' Medici who supported Renaissance art masters such as Leonardo da Vinci, and Michelangelo. Their coat of arms is everywhere in the city. And the more art and relics they collected, the wealthier and in power they felt they possessed. They were also devoted to the Catholic religion, just as many Florentines were during that time. The Medicis were very fearful when it came to their thoughts on their eternal damnation. They had a strong belief that usury and money lending was a moral sin. They also believed that God decreed that man might save himself by labor. As bankers, the Medicis got money through interest, which means that they earned their wealth through kind of doing nothing. And as they became richer, they became more terrified. And it's been believed that usurers were found in the depths of hell. This painting is found in the dome of the Florence Cathedral, The Last Judgment by Giorgio Vasari and Federico Zuccari. According to their church doctrine, you could buy your way out of hell. You could purchase salvation by sponsoring a great work of art and architecture. And because bankers were accused of splintering society since banking created debt, greed, and division, they were even more enticed to give to the church. Let's take a break for a moment, and if you've been learning so far, please smash that like button. It helps spread this message to more people, and it helps grow this channel faster. I appreciate you. I'm still in this belief that I actually got to go to Florence. I just have documentation and souvenirs to remind me that I actually went there. But also, there are three things I'm reminded of from the Bible with what I learned here. One is that hell is very real. The Medicis were very aware of that, and they got that right. Luke 16, 23 to 24 says, In Hades, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away, with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I am in agony in this fire. Hell is not a place where Satan is ruler and people who end up there will have a hot party for eternity. It's a place for all the people that rejected God. It's a place of eternal punishment. 
Job 10, 21 and 22 describes hell as the place of no return, the land of gloom and utter darkness, the land of deepest night, of utter darkness and disorder, where even the light is like darkness. That doesn't sound like a fun place at all. Another thing is that you can't buy your own salvation. I don't know where the church of the time of the Medicis, or even now, got that doctrine that Florentines could buy their salvation by sponsoring church art. But here's what the Bible says. Ephesians 2, 8-9 For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and it is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. It's through faith in Jesus Christ. We cannot do enough good works to save ourselves. Complete holiness and no blemish at all is required. 1 John 2, 2 says, He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Christ did it. So what do we have to do? Repent, believe, and commit to Christ now. 2 Corinthians 5.15 says, And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. I talk about that more in detail in this video. How about you? Have you ever heard of Florence or the Medicis before? I want to know so, comment below. If you're still watching, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you won't miss a video. Our hope and future is in Jesus. See you in the next one.